everybody. Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers, and I am here with John and Nellie. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And today is day eight of eight days on the Queen Mary 2. And yesterday, where we left off, we woke up in the morning, and it was our last day mm -hmm. on the Queen Mary 2. So we woke up in the morning and we recorded our video, our daily video from the day before. We went to breakfast at the Princess Grill mm -hmm. and it was very lovely. John is not thrilled with the breakfast menu compared to Lumine, but I like it. And the, everything else about it is really yes. great. Yes, oh, the service and everything. It's, it's great. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful room. It is. Yes. And then after breakfast, we went back to our cabin to pack to go home. And packing was quite the interesting task. Yeah, repacking after 39 days, well, 39 days worth of stuff. Yes. And plus all the things we bought. Yes. Right, so. So the challenging part was, is that we bought an extra suitcase for all of the things that we purchased along the way on our 39 days. And it wasn't so much fitting it, it was balancing it out so that each suitcase was under the 50 pound limit. So John and I go on JetBlue quite often. We, we fly as an airline, that's our choice most of the time. We're mosaic with them. Right? And we're mosaic right. and because we're mosaic, we each have two checked bags complimentary. So we had a total of four because we'd only brought three with us initially and then we bought the fourth. And it wasn't, again, it, it wasn't the getting it into the bags because we had plenty of space. It was a lot of heavy stuff. I picked out three bottles of balsamic vinegar, four bottles of, no, seven bottles of olive oil, but there were six of them were small bottles. And pasta and cheese, a lot of things. Plus a lot of little presents for our little guy at home, our grandson. And of course we brought something small for the kids, our adult children. That that didn't really take up much space, but the heavy stuff was the, we had a couple bottles of wine that we were taking home. So anyway, it was a lot and I managed, so I would pack a suitcase and I would weigh it. And I tried to put most of the heavy stuff in the smaller suitcases so it could weigh more with less in it and we did it mm -hmm. we did it every suitcase was under 50 pounds and, and and it all worked out really well after we finished packing which took quite a bit of time there was we, time to go back to have lunch yes <laughs> it was time to go back and have well lunch. we hung out for a little while yeah, yeah. But packing took a long time. It did. It, it took did. a few hours. And we went to the Princess Grove for lunch, and it was lovely. And we sat next to two very lovely ladies, a mother and a daughter. I think we mentioned them in another video. And we chatted with them. They were going to New York. They were doing the round trip on the Queen Mary back to Southampton. And they were taking the day of excursions in the city, and we were talking to them about New York City. And after lunch... We walked around a little bit. But no, first... No, we went to play trivia. Yes, yes we went the, to the Corinthia the, Lounge and we figured yeah. we'd give it another shot at trivia. Eh, not too no, good. No. <laughs> That's because... We it don't, was general knowledge. We need Nancy for that. Yeah, we it, just... Yeah, we, it was just obscure stuff that we just didn't know. Mm -hmm. And then we walked around the ship a little bit and we looked at a lot of the uh, the artwork and they have a lot of like historic memorabilia type stuff and a lot of poster boards in the full ship tour we show quite a few of those things and it really interesting yeah it is and after that we went to the queen's room yes for tea for tea because we enjoyed it so much the day before we went for afternoon tea and it was really it was really very nice because we kind of knew what to expect this time. It was, I think it was much better than the first time because we didn't really watch as the waiters all came in with all their stuff and everything. And we did a recording. We'll, we'll have yeah, one of those yeah, up we eventually. Did, we did do a separate video for that. 
after we had tea, we went to the casino to see the casino host and the casino manager, and they had our free play certificates for us. John got a certificate for 700 in free play, and I got one for $1,000 in free play for our next cruise. And we are gonna be on the Queen Mary 2 in October, so we will utilize those then. After we picked up our certificates, we went back to our cabin and we got ready for dinner. And we went to dinner at the Princess Grill, and of course it was lovely. Mm -hmm. We went as early as we possibly could. Because we wanted to go to the show. Mm -hmm. right? This theater is a little bit weird. It's different. Okay, different. It's not what we're used to. No, no. I mean, we've spent the majority of our cruises on Celebrity and Royal Caribbean. Right. We've done a handful on Norwegian and a handful on and and several on on Carnival, but they were a long time ago. It's comfortable in there, and it was like, just different. It's the table. There's chairs and there's like little cocktail tables. It's like one stuff. constant sofa. It's just a very comfortable right. but there's no separations it's but we did sit all the way in the back right. on the first level where there was a little bit of a separation there were like little almost like booth areas mm -hmm. but the show was different also it was more of a variety show the production show was a really short show it was about 15 minutes and it was a pre-show for the main event it, which was a trumpet player. And a uh, piano player. They're the same person. So, um, and it, that was He good. was very talented. He was very talented, yes. No singing. Yeah. Just music. Yeah. And so it was different. It was about 40 minutes long or mm -hmm. so. Uh, maybe 35 minutes long. Mm -hmm. After the show, we went over to the casino, which is not far. It's it's pretty close to there, pretty close to the theater. And we had arranged previously to meet up with Jason and Gerard to say our goodbyes yes. until next time. Mm -hmm. We just adore the both of them. They're they're funny and they're easy to be with, and we really just enjoyed their company. And it was mm -hmm. such a pleasant surprise. And we played a little bit. We each played fifty dollars in the casino. Yeah, we just, played for a little while, just just to, just to play, just yeah. to play. Yeah. And then we went back to our cabin and we went to sleep. And this morning is debarkation day, and Queen Mary does it a little bit different. First of all, we booked a transfer through Queen Mary through Cunard while we were on the ship. They build it directly to our room. It was $120 for the both of us, and it was a chartered bus to take us to the airport. And we have an 8.10 debarkation time, and they asked us to just wait in our cabin. And then once your time is ready, you just go. There are no morning announcements. It makes for a very pleasant process. And we really enjoyed our eight days on the Queen Mary. And we very much look forward to going on again yeah, in October. October. Right. And in that time, we will be in a balcony. So we'll get to record different. Mm -hmm. So we have a ship tour and we have a cabin tour, the Princess Girl Suite, that we should be putting up shortly. And some other things, some other videos. And that does it for our eight days on the Queen Mary. Thank you so much for watching. We truly appreciate your support. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day. Say goodbye, Nellie. Goodbye, Nellie.